My name is Jordan Cooks. I'm the Integration Engineering Manager here at Bitwarden, and today we're going to be looking at the new SSO with Trusted Devices feature. This feature allows you to remove the requirement that users have a separate Bitwarden account password when utilizing login with SSO to sign into their Bitwarden account. We'll be looking on the left-hand side at a user's perspective of this feature, while on the right-hand side we're looking at the organization Vault as an administrator. Switching to SSO with Trusted Devices is as easy as switching your member decryption option to the new Trusted Devices feature. Now, over here on the left, I'm going to log in as a user who's already in my organization, but in a browser that is not currently trusted. A user's first device when they onboard to the organization is automatically trusted. You can read more about the details of how this feature works in our help center at bitwarden.com help. First, I'm going to enter my email address, and then select Enterprise Single Sign-On. This screen asks me for my SSO identifier. You can skip this step in your organization by configuring domain verification. Now as I select Login, I'm redirected to my configured IDP, which is JumpCloud. I'm authenticating with my JumpCloud account and account password. And now I'm redirected back to Bitwarden, where I will request an admin to approve my login request. As an administrator, I can now go to the device approvals page and either approve or deny this user's request. I have the option here to validate that the fingerprint phrase matches, so I know this is the user I mean to let in to their vault. I'm going to go ahead and approve this request. The login is request is approved as the administrator, and now over here as a user, I've been logged into my vault and the device has been trusted. If I recycle my incognito window, we'll look at the process of onboarding a new user. As a different user in my JumpCloud organization, I'm going to repeat that process. Email address, enterprise single sign-on, and identifier. I'm redirected back to JumpCloud again, put in my JumpCloud username and password, and proceed to be redirected back to Bitwarden. I have been logged in at this point because I did not previously have a Bitwarden account, but I'm allowed to access the Bitwarden SSO application in JumpCloud. As such, I'm automatically onboarded to the organization. My account has been created and my device has been trusted. As the administrator, I can now go and confirm this user. Now, this user will have access to any data that I choose to provide them within the Bitwarden organization. Thanks for watching.